Elon Musk offers to buy Twitter. Now, I believe I said so. So I should cancel my account then as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you feel that way. I don't know if we talked about this on the show last week or if me and you talked about it after the show ended. But originally, uh, Elon Musk bought some shares because he wants to hold more control over Twitter because he hates how it's not a free platform. They shadow ban people and the like. They obviously block people from making accounts, like Donald Trump. I did not know that about them. When you said like it wasn't free, I was like, "But I, but I made an account for free, and uh, <laughs> I didn't pay anything for you it." You say certain things, and you can get like banned off the platform too. Oh wow! So it's not really a freedom of speech platform, but Elon Musk actually wants to make it that way. So he's been trying to like he bought a huge amount of shares last time to take. A decent part of the, like, say of the company reminds me of um, uh, Batman Begins when uh, the when his company went public <clears throat> and oh. Bruce Wayne <laughs> basically buys like almost all of the shares. I'm starting to think that Elon Musk is <clears throat> Bruce Wayne. <laughs> He's a superhero <laughs> at night. <laughs> I am the Batman. <laughs> but yeah, so he did make an offer to buy Twitter, but Twitter does not want it to fall into his hands. So, updated as of 4:15. Twitter board of directors announced that it has unanim- you unanimously. Thank you. You're welcome. Decided to adopt a shareholder rights plan to block Musk's offer to buy the social media app. According to the press release, the plan will remain in effect for exactly one year. The shareholder rights plan, also known as a poison pill, is a tactic used when a company's board of directors tries to block a hostile takeover. It allows specific shareholders the right to purchase more company stock at a discounted price. Okay, so basically, like, the people of Twitter, or, I don't know, it's completely the people of Twitter, but basically there's this thing now called the poison pill, where it makes it so that certain people can't buy a certain amount of shares, or a certain amount of shares at, like, some sort of discounted price. It sounds kind of <laughs> shady to me. I mean, it's business. It's always yeah. shady. Because it sounds like... <laughs> Look, look, I don't trust anything that's called the poison pill, okay? <laughs> that sounds like something corporate people will come up with. Sounds like Elon bought a bunch of shares to try <laughs> to take over the company or part of the company. Uh-huh. And because they don't want him to own the company, they put that block on. But here's the part that gets me about it. So, okay, you're blocking him for a year so he can't outright buy the company. Right. But... Then why do they get to buy the shares at a discounted price? That's what seems shady to me. Wait, the board members are buying the shares? Yeah, it says that for that year, that the board members, board, board members and shareholders <laughs> are offered shares at a discounted price. Which doesn't so, seem fair to me. And also but they seems already really have. Shady. They already have shares though, so. Wouldn't some of those shareholders have to sell their own shares? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really know that much about <laughs> stocks and stuff. I just know that something doesn't sound right about that. And <coughs> Elon made them an offer to buy their company. So I don't get how it's a hostile takeover if he put an offer in. It's, it's not a hostile takeover. He did buy but... shares, so I know he's trying to take a portion. But then he made an offer to buy the company. He probably, my guess is, he probably went in, bought some, bought a ton of the shares to oh, the point where it's like, oh, now that I own this amount of shares, I'm good to put in an offer for the company. It could be a situation where he's not giving them like some sort of choice, but to, out, but to go and actually like buy the company. Yeah. By the way, just because of that joke that I made earlier, I don't have anything against Elon Musk or anything. <laughs> the only thing I've seen him in is, like, is an Iron Man. That's, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's the only thing I really know about him. <laughs> oh, man. And that he's trying to buy Twitter now. <laughs> I just wonder if he's going to now try to, like, uh, bring him to court or something because obviously he has a bunch of money. <laughs> so, like, try to fight it or something. Or if he's just going to wait a year and then try to buy him out again. Yeah, and to like, I don't understand where it's like, it's it's an offer. Like, why don't you just say no to the offer? Why do you have to come up with this outright scheme? Yeah. 
That's what I was trying to. Like you can out. you can just say no, <laughs> which is why I'm thinking like what how like how is Elon Musk putting in his offer is my question. That I also don't know. I guess I might have to update us next yeah, there, week. Yeah, <laughs> there is there is a good difference between, hey, he put in an offer and how he put in an offer. Give it to me now. <laughs> <laughs> I got the shares. Almost all of them. Just give me the company. <laughs> Every time I think we're done with this topic, we just keep on adding more. Okay, well, <laughs> we're done with it now. Hey guys, Marquando here. On behalf of me and Mike Sensei, just want to say thanks for watching. We appreciate it. If you want to catch early news and early war sessions, be sure to check us out on Twitch every Friday night between 5 and 7. And remember, stay otaku.